I hope everyone's having a great day. I'm Mr. H. Thank you for joining me. We're looking at the derivation of the length of segment formula, which you know to be the distance formula. Take any two points on an XY plane. The distance between those two points or the length of that segment is given by this formula and you know it. The square root of y2 minus y1 whole square plus x2 minus x1 whole square. If you think about it in terms of derivation, it all comes from the Pythagorean theorem formula a square plus b square is equal to c square. That's all what you're looking at, where C here represents the distance between your two points and these are the components that are feeding and you're looking here essentially at a C or here and then you're looking here at an A or a B and then a, a or a B, it doesn't matter the order and you can see everything come into this form in terms of a Pythagorean formula and that's how you proceed. Start with a X and Y plane, you can come up with one point P1 and that can be made up of X1 and a Y1 and you can come up with another p2 point and you can call that x2 y2 i'm not putting the commas over here because you have too many things and it'll get busy you can plot these out you can plot them out in any quadrant and everything will adjust but let p1 be right here and p2 can be right over here i have to think about everything here with regards to right triangle so i can do a right triangle and there it is you could have done it upwards or you can do it here and it doesn't matter this here is my P1, here is my P2, and I'm looking here at a dimension which is A, I'm looking here at a dimension which is B, and here is my dimension C. A square plus B square equals C square. I will blow this up for you, this triangle I've drawn, and let's put the coordinate points. I have a P1 over here, so I know I'm looking at an X1, Y1. I have a P2 here, so I'm looking at X2, Y2. What must this be? Well, you know you're looking here along the Y1 in terms of the Y axis, and, but you're looking here down along the x2 so this right here will be x2 and it'll be y1 not too hard if you think about it what's the length of this right here you can do the length determination just by looking at the change in the x y value does not change but you have a change in the x here here you have a change in the y the change in the x over here is really x2 minus x1 the change in the y over here is really y2 minus y1 and that right there represents your a this here represents b if A is represented by x2 minus x1 and B is represented by y2 minus y1, you have A square plus B square is equal to C square. Plug these in. A here is x2 minus x1 whole square. B is y2 minus y1 whole square. And that equals a certain C square, which is the length of the segment P1, P2. The length of that segment is C. C, therefore, must be equal to the square root of all of this, which is exactly what we're looking at. X2 minus X1 whole square plus Y2 minus Y1 whole square under a root. It doesn't matter if you put this as A or B or this as A or B. It wouldn't matter. The result is the same. And there it is. It has been derived for you. Remember, everything here is being viewed as a right triangle. And again, think about here. The coordinate pairs x1, y1, x2, y1, x2, y2. The distance from here to here, there's no change in y, but there's a change in x. You do your large number minus your small number, x2 minus x1. Along here, you have no change in x, but you have a change in y. You do your large y value minus your small y value, y2, y1, x2, x1, with the difference of the two feeding in and gives you the length of segment formula. Thank you for watching. Have a nice day.